Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll talk about my dwarf alamanda plant. It is also called golden trumpet shrub. This plant stays small and bushy, making it a good shrub for smaller places. This plant will flower during the summer and fall, and winter is the dormancy period for this plant. Its blooms are wonderful golden yellow color large and trumpet shape although they aren't as fragrant as other garden plants so the first week of summer or end of the spring is the right time to prune the almonda plant and along with pruning this plant also needs to be fertilized so that it can flower during the whole summer and the video you are seeing i have made it in the last week of april also due to its fast growth rate you may choose to prune your dwarf plant to help shape it it is also fine to prune away any dead or damaged leaves and dead head flowers also this plant is propagated mainly through stem cuttings in early spring so if you all want to make your plant bushy prune the stems so that it will become bushy and after pruning i'll talk about fertilizer for that i am taking 1 tablespoon of tea leaf and equal amount of banana peel fertilizer seaweed granules and npk 1990 The used tea leaves are high in tannic acid and many other valuable nutrients that make it more fertile and also boost the nitrogen level which helps break down other things you have added and encourages decomposing bacteria and banana peel supplies plant with a substantial amount of potassium a micronutrient that is used to develop immunity to environmental stress and pest while at the same time promoting healthy plant growth and the seaweed granules help sustain the fertilizer in the zone of the root and also releases them to the plant when they are needed the most and at last about the npk 1919 it is a balanced nitrogen phosphorus and potassium chemical fertilizer for all round growth of plants ideal for foliar spray and tip irrigation also and this shrub loves sunlight and should be placed in a spot where it will receive full sun for much of the day it is tolerant of partial shade during part of the day such as in the morning or evening as long as it gets plenty of light the rest of the day For your information I want to say that dwarf almonda has many uses it is used in wide range of traditional and modern medical treatments from malaria to jaundice and may even be a means of treating hiv also almonda plants can tolerate short period of drought or excessive heat and is highly resistant to pests and diseases and about watering the overwatering isn't as much of an issue with this plant as most of the others so guys how did you like my today's video do comment and let me know and also don't forget to like and share the video have a good day